Welcome to the G-Star Show with Ron Russell, the fabulously gorgeous and talented Ricky Rebel. Hello and welcome to the show. Hello. Thank you guys so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. There you go. Say hi to the fabulous Ron Russell. Hi. I didn't know I've had you. (laughs) When when and where? When and where? I certainly wouldn't have forgotten, honey. (laughs) (laughs) Then we've got the man behind the boards, Mr. Chad Murphy. Once again, Ricky, welcome to the show. Hey, Chad. Thank hey, come so a little bit closer. You sound so far away, and you look far away. Okay, okay come well, a little closer. That's because he wants his cleavage shown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we've got a chat room room full of people, so say hello to everybody in the chat room. Hello, everyone out there in the chat room. Welcome. And also, give a special shout to B. Claudia. She's, like, in Germany, and she, like, loves you, and she, like, is watching right now, and she's, like, everybody's talking about your great hair culture, but just say hi to B. Claudia for me because she'll love it. B. Claudia, hey, what's up, girl? Love you. Mwah. Thank you so much for your support. There you I go. So for those viewers, the <laughs> for the viewers that are watching now that don't know who this fella is, I, I can't say he's the king. I got to say maybe she's the queen of uh, Hollywood, of Boys Town, of the gay sections of Santa Monica. No matter where you go in Santa Monica, you will hear his name or you will see him or you will see pictures of him, or you will hear whatever about him. He's absolutely the boy George of Hollywood today. And he's a great guy, and we love him. And he's we had gorgeous. Him on, he's fashionable. We had him on a while ago, and I tried to fix him up with another hunky friend of mine, young, gorgeous <laughs> guy in New York who was a dancer. And I have to find out whatever happened. Now, he's been on twice since then. What the fuck do I know? I'm old. <laughs> I mean, you know, they expect shit for me like I was 30. You know, I'm old. Get, get with it. You guys look I'm, amazing. You look Thank great. You. I love seeing well, you. Because last yeah. time I was on the show, I couldn't, I couldn't just, see you. Just voice. Just voice. Yeah. yeah, we like it better when we can see you, too. And I'm like, now, happy let me, about Now, let it. me talk about the hairdo. Now, you got like me a little pompadour, right? Right. I did, I did a little pompadour. And, your and hair is amazing. Well, it's my own. That's what's amazing about well, it. <laughs> this well, is his own, too. Yeah, but I'm 3,000 times older than him. <laughs> that my hair hasn't <laughs> rotted off my head yet. You know? And things That's rot it. when you get old. Anyway, I have great. the little I have the little dippity do thing here. So yeah. I'm not gonna do my hair blue, because then I'll look like an old lady with a blue rinse. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of got a little bit of a purple hue to it today. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm doing a little purple. Vibe. And everybody out there, he was the first one with this before everybody went blue. He was number one years ago when we had you on. You were blue haired Actually, he had an album or a single, one of the two called Blue, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I had the, a full album called The Blue Album. So what have you got new for us? What are you going to give us? Well, I, uh, you know, my song Boys and Sometimes Girls uh, recently charted on the Billboard Dance Club charts number 28. Whoa, Yay! 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 Yo, goody, goody, two shoes. Yes. Yeah, I got to give a special props to my manager, David Keaton, and Hector Fonseca, the DJ that remixed my song Boys and Sometimes Girls, and also Bobby Shaw in New York, who helped to launch it up the Billboard charts. So we've been promoting boys and girls everywhere. The video got, uh, I think, around 125,000 views on um, wow. on YouTube. So it really blew up, and it's a it's a great song, and uh, I'm really proud of it. And we're working on a new single that's coming out soon um, on March 14th. It's called the song is called "If You Were My Baby." And it's a smash. Oh. It's like. So what are we listening to today? Now we're gonna hear boys and sometimes girls because he's not releasing boys. the other one yet. Oh, the other one's not released yet. We'll wait. Yeah, that one's gonna be released on uh, three fourteen on iTunes and Amazon, and it's gonna be released right before I do South by Southwest. Like that Tuesday, I'm releasing the track. And then on uh, Saturday, we're we're performing at South by Southwest. Okay, tell our viewers what South by Southwest is. South by Southwest is one of the biggest music festivals on the planet. It's really big. Uh, think Coachella on steroids because you not Coachella only, Valley. Right. You know, it's it's not only like music, but there's like they have video games. Uh, people from all around the world um, come there for movies and film wow. the best up uh, to see like what is the up and coming stuff mm. that's coming out in music and and everything. 
It's well, in Texas, right? It's in no, uh, no, no, no. It's not. In California. It is not. The Coachella Valley. No, is... he said it's like Coachella. He didn't oh, say like it is Coachella. Coachella. Well, I'm, I told you, I'm old. I don't get everything right. <laughs> it's in Austin, I think, isn't it? South by oh, Southwest. Austin. Yeah, Austin, Texas. I'll be there from the 16th to the 19th, and I'm performing on Saturday the 18th at this bar called the Dirty Dog Bar. I, I love like it. The dirty dog dirty bar. Dog. Dirty so first, dog bar. dirty. Do I've said that to a lot of boyfriends of mine, old boyfriends. You dirty dog. Dirty dog. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Apparently they, so now, have, uh, they have poles too, so I'm excited. Stripper poles. You, are you going to dance a pole? I might. Wow. Uh, are you going to dye your <laughs> pubic area blue too? I don't Think know about it. Wouldn't that. that be wild? Bleach it white and then do blue. I that really want. Wild. I want to actually dye my armpit. Armpits. <laughs> be pretty shocking. No, just braid your armpits and dye your pubic area. <laughs> That's smart. That's really smart. I think now let's that. hear the good stuff. Hang on, wait, 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 wait shut wait. up! No, I no, want to hear the wait dirt. Wait a second. I know, but let's let's say let's say pretend like some of the people that come on have never heard of Ricky Rebel, and we need to tell everybody's people who he is. heard of Ricky. Uh, Rebel. Okay, but if they have, if he heard hasn't of... sold ten million records, everybody hasn't heard of him yet. So we need people if to know If they haven't who he heard is. of Ricky Rebel, they're squares. Well, that's true. I agree a hundred percent that if they don't know, totally him, square, nowhere people. And, and and the Rebel Mafia. It's Ricky Rebel and the Rebel Mafia. That's right. Right. And uh, which is a new addition. Since the last time we had you on, I don't think you had the Rebel Mafia. Right, I was developing my mafia. Like when I when I first met you guys, I I didn't have as many people on my team. I've got a great team now of uh, dancers, a, a great dance troupe, uh, band members from like drummer. I have a drummer, guitar player, bass player, violinist, and um, a team of makeup and stylists and all. I did my own makeup and hair today, and but I mean I get styled by a really great guy. Um, Mr. St. Michael. So, um, and of course, Hector Fonseca. I, I consider him. Wait, wait, wait. Who's Saka Bada? Hector Fonseca. He's a super the famous DJ. producer. Hector DJ. Von Saka? Fonseca. Yeah. I, I had a friend once. We used to call him that. He got actually, very upset. Actually, I. <laughs> I, I read I read on your I read someplace on your website or someplace too that you're sponsored by so we'll give your your new sponsor like a, a plug I don't know how you pronounce it though it's a makeup company what's the name of your makeup company and we'll like give them a little plug Janae Montague King, King isn't it I'm holding a little pouch here I got from Must Have M U S T A E V Must Have USA and I there you go use like all their brushes and they're amazing I use their brushes I use their concealers I use every product they have they're incredible. Um, you can find them on m u s t a e v u s a dot com, and there I'm you sponsored go. by them. So basically, I call them up, and they give me product, and they take care of me. And we we they, we actually they sponsored the music video Boys and Sometimes Girls. So we, you know, we plug them in with that. And Absolutely. I really believe in their product. I'm not just pushing their stuff because I'm you know I'm had to or anything. You I do yeah, but look how fabulous well, that, you that's look. That's like me. You know, I only use DMK, which is Denae Montague King. I'm sure you've seen his cosmetics all over. Fabulous theater cosmetics, fabulous. They send me shit. They right. give me nothing. I pay for everything. And I send, <laughs> and, and she's my dearest friend. She's Liz Lauren, the big drag queen. Well, she's a cheap bitch. And I love her to pieces. But <laughs> she never she ne me, never sent me a fucking cream. And her shit's 100 bucks a shot. I mean, <laughs> it's crazy. You know, you believe these cheap bastards? Right? They want us to paint our faces, push their shit, and they don't even send you a little douchey, a uh, little douche thing for your eyes. <laughs> oh my God! Well, you need to get that bitch in line. <laughs> I'm gonna smack. Do you know who Liz Lauren is? She's Sophia Lauren, drag queen. She's one of the most famous in the country, and she's my God. dearest friend. And she's a bitch. When I get out to California, I'm gonna tear her tits off and shove them up her ass. I tell you right now. <laughs> I'll finish, Hold on. Okay, I'll, so... I'll finish that bitch off. I, wanna, I, wanna, wanna, I love it at pieces. Yeah, she's fabulous. And I want to go back uh, real quick. So first of all, if you guys don't know who Ricky Rebel was, first of all, if you were a boy band fan like I was, he was in the he was in the band No Authority, and they had a, a bunch of hits, and they were on Madonna's record label, and I think you even toured and opened up for Britney Spears probably, right? Yeah, we did. We opened what up. So what, you what did. was Britney Spears like? I know she likes to open her legs when she gets out of trucks, but <laughs> aside from shooting her beaver to the world – what is she really like? Is she really like nice or just stupid or blonde kinda, or drunk? I, I, I got to say, she's kind of like me, honestly. She's born, oh, then she's we're, nice. We're born, yeah, she's very nice. She's born on the same day as me, December 2nd. Uh, we're both Sagittarians. And I felt like when I met her, I kind of felt a similar vibe. Like off stage, she's kind of a little more quiet, a little shy, a little reserved. Was she jealous that you're prettier than her? 
um, not at the time she wasn't. She had Justin Timberlake. She would be now, though. <laughs> yeah. Poor yeah. Brit. Poor Brit. Oh, I love okay, Brittany. so then. I, love dad. I can't say anything mean about her. But... No, 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 no. no, she's no. I'm sure she's very nice. I'm sure she's and, a sweet girl. Yeah, I mean, I, I loved being on tour with her. Um, I saw her blossom into the superstar. You know, I got to see her, like, right before she, like, completely, uh, completely blew up. Yeah, we all saw her blossom when she got out of that truck. <laughs> She really exactly. blossomed. Straight guys was sniffing away and wanting to There's get there. People in the chat room saying that your blue album is like the greatest album ever and that they love it to death. So that's really cool. And um, and so, okay, so then you did all that cool stuff and then you became a solo artist. And yeah. as you became a solo artist, you, I know, I, I know you were like in two My Chemical Romance videos, which is like a really kind of like a cool thing just to be because you weren't really established as a solo artist yet when you did that, right? No, no. I hadn't even released a record or, or a song yet. So just being in those videos is cool, you guys. So he's in the Sing video, I think, and uh, the Na 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 video. If you're a My Chemical Romance fan, you can see Ricky Rebel in the videos. And then you became I was, I was Ricky a, Rebel. Yeah, I was never good, good at swallowing. Are you okay? He's not good at swallowing. <laughs> I'm not good at swallowing when I oh, talk. No. I could teach you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was drinking um, my, my drink and it caught in my throat. Oh, babe. Um, oh, well, not the first time. I, I was in, like you said, I was uh, featured in uh, My Chemical Romance videos in around 2010. And uh, I played a character called Show Pony. And I wore a helmet in the video in roller skates. And uh, Gerard Way was the lead singer of that, of that group, My Chemical Romance. And he's the one who cast me as the role because he wanted someone really <laughs> androgynous. Like someone who, you know, you didn't really know. If they turned around, it kind of looked like a, a woman. But if they turned to the front, you know, it's a dude. So it's yeah. just kind of that, that that's ending. What Jimmy, that's what Jimmy James is doing. You know Jimmy James, the Marilyn Monroe great drag. You know who oh, yeah. he is, Jimmy? Mm -hmm. Well, he does yeah. a draw Jimmy's drag also. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a, I love it. I love being right in between, you know, the two worlds of gender. Yeah, yeah. Uh, play, to play with it because I think it's, there's, it's more powerful to be in my mind, to be both and. I think it's cool to play with yeah. that. Well, I know quite a few artists that do that. Who's the other one that we know? A black guy that's androgynous. Oh, he died. I'm sorry. He he was great. He was in Florida. He passed away. Okay. Anyway, let's go on. Because so, you're not a drag performer. You're just a performer who, who is androgynous. There's a big difference. Right. There's a little bit different. Yeah, but she'd look yeah, gorgeous in drag. Difference. I'd love to see you in oh drag. Oh, my God. She looks... I would, too. I would, too. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do I mean, you're going to be a beauty in drag. And don't get yeah. stupid like on, like what's his name on that drag show? Don't wear the weird makeup and the stupid wigs. Tchotchke? Violet no, you know the, the radio? With RuPaul. RuPaul's race He doesn't way. like the drag queens on RuPaul. He likes it when they you look, look like, like you in a dress. Like you, know? right. you look like beautiful women. Like, you like it when they're beautiful, not like a clown. Yes. Like yes. my friend Liz Lauren. She's a guy. She wears a beard. She runs a major, major uh, cosmetic company. But she also does drag. And when Do she you know becomes Sophia Lauren, she's gorgeous. Do you know the drag queen Gypsy? Like the oldest drag queen of Gypsy all time? Gypsy is my friend for 35, 40, 50 I fucking love years. Him. So much. He met me at a, an event, and he came up to me. and said, "Darling, you are so gorgeous. As you're gonna be, you are gonna be." <laughs> Gypsy is fabulous. He, he didn't say drag queen impersonator. One yeah, day. Yes. we don't that use drag. Better. We never. I used illusionist. When I worked in in drag, I was a female illusionist, and I impersonated Jane Russell. Believe it or not, I looked like her and did a good job. Uh, but Gypsy, I know maybe 50 years. I saw the first paste on wig with a French twist. And I went up to her, at a big drag ball. It was Daisy D's Thanksgiving Day Ball in Brooklyn. And wow. she was there, and I loved her wig because it had a French twist and it was a paste on. And that's okay. how Gypsy and I met. She lives in Palm Springs, and now we're moving back to Palm Springs, so I will regain my friendship with her. Good, good, yeah. She wanted He's to made a lot of movies. Yeah. He's a fabulous DJ. I mean, not DJ. Uh, what I do? What is that? What is that? Impersonator. I no, not impersonator. Illusionist. No, a guy that talks. What the fuck? Oh, I don't even know. Interviewer. <laughs> interviewer. Not interviewer. He's a stand <laughs> guy. The guy that comes out and introduces Wait, go everybody. Ahead. Go back anyway. Okay, so so yeah. because like you, I have to say, because like I, I look at your Instagram, which everybody, if you want to follow Ricky on Twitter, he's at Ricky Rebel Rocks. I don't know what your Instagram is. Is your Instagram also Ricky Rebel Rocks or is it just Ricky yeah. Rebel? Just Ricky Rebel. All right, Ricky Rebel on Instagram, you guys. And number one, you go to a lot of cool things. But the thing I think is the coolest about 
you and what stands you out from every other millions of performers there are, besides the fact that your music is fantastic and a lot of fun, is that you actually dress the part. Every, I've never seen a picture of you where you didn't look like you were like should be, be being like chauffeured or carried around on a it's his world, like an Egyptian god it, or something. Like you just look yeah. so fabulous everywhere you go, and I think that that's why everybody knows who you are because they're like, oh my god, you walk into a room and everybody looks like shit, and you walk into the room and everybody's <clears> like, oh my god, whoever that is, they got to be a superstar. That's why, and that's what is, you need to do. I, I think it's fabulous. Have the to. king of Hollywood. Yeah. He's you the have king. To do that. I, I um I met a manager a long time ago, uh, who taught me that wherever you go, Ricky, you better be, you better be. Ricky Rebel or whatever at the time I was doing something else, but you better show up, you know, when you go to an interview. So I learned how to, to be that all the, as much as I can. Well, to be you're you're today's glamour. You're, you're the same glamour that was in the 1940s, except a different style. So today you're today's glamour, which is bizarre, outrageous, whatever you want to call it. Now, here you go. Remember this little bitch or I'll smack your face when I see you. <laughs> I'm going to have Liz Lauren and her husband, Drew King, and you, to my house for dinner in Palm Springs once we move there. You yeah. must meet Liz. You'll be best friends with her. She's fabulous. She's as wacky as you are. You know, way out, gorgeous, you know, the whole thing. Um, and that's a date we're going to have. And if B. Claudia comes to the stage, we're going to let her come too because she's now, just dying in the wait, chat room. <laughs> wait, which brings me to my next question. Last time I spoke to you, you had a guy. What yeah. happened? He is still living. He's living with me now. Wow. All right. Congratulations. Wow. We want to give a shout out to the lover. So, yes. Yes. So the doctor. That, that, the doctor. The doctor. What kind of doctor? Uh, psych, doctor of psychology. Oh, there Jesus. Jimmy had one of those. He divorced him after 25 years <laughs> to marry me. He did. He dumped that old jerk to marry me. <clears throat> no, it's, it's not easy. You got to you gotta be on top of your, you know, intellectual game. Well, if you bring him to our house for dinner, he's going to love talking to me. <laughs> I mean, he'll sit back with his mouth he's open. He's definitely invited. He'll, he'll sit important. back with his mouth he open and say him. to himself, this guy is you know fucking what? I think that's crazy. so awesome, though, because I, we had you on. It had to be a year and a half ago or something. It was a long time ago, so things are going good. We were and... living in Florida, dear. No, we weren't. Yes, we were, because no. we had him on the show when we were in the studio. No, we were here. We were not film yet. We, we, had we, him on we were just radio. I know. We had him on here. We're only radio. No, two we had years. him on here anyway, because I remember he was outside. When you we you had didn't him. see us, did no, you? No, he didn't see us, but, it, but it, we weren't always radio here. We were radio the first two years we'd lived here. Oh, we were. But we have a lot of fun here. in Palm Springs. We know a lot of people. We have a piano. Everybody sings, does drag, carries on. Like I have crazy to ask first. a fanboy it's question a lot of though, because <clears throat> I read that you you uh, you did a show with O Town, like, and I'm I love O Town. I think like, because you know, I'm still like I still like all that boy band stuff. It's like, I've met them one before. A long time ago, when I had a clothing store in Fort Lauderdale, I met them, and they were pretty cool. And that was when they were at the top of their game, and now they're like coming back. Are they still pretty cool? They're really cool, very cool. I like um, I like Trevor. Um, I like all of them. They were very nice and very respectful, and gave us a lot of like time to rehearse. Never, you know, never, you know, they weren't like, oh, you only get 15 minutes to rehearse and you're out. They they get, gave us enough time to rehearse and gave us space. That's and good. They that makes me happy. Out. They even said, like, when after, when I, after I performed, they said, we should be opening up for Ricky Rebel. He said that to all of his fans. Which is so true, actually. Like, everybody should be opening for you because you are you put on a show. Everybody else gets up and sings. You put on a show. And you're singing, but you're putting on a show. And, and I think that's why everybody would like a Ricky Rebel show. And I know you've got the Southwest. Let's tell everybody again, if you're in Austin, Texas, he's going to be at Dirty Dog Bar on March 18th for South by Southwest uh, performing... Uh, boys and sometimes girls and the new song if you were my baby is that I'll the name of it i'll be premiering it yeah yes yeah, so he'll be premiering it there so you want to see that there and um i also read someplace that you're on reverie tv i don't know what that means i i tried to look it up but i didn't have time the first lgbt streaming platform so what is that reverie tv is is a great it's like think of it as like the gay version of netflix they have only lgbt and equality type of programming um, they have uh, original TV shows that are geared towards LGBT community, and they they also have uh, artists like me who they're promoting. Um, they've been really great with me. I love Reverie TV. They, that they is so cool. Show. How do we? How do we? Maybe we should get this show on. <laughs> get it on Roku. Yeah. 
We're on. Uh, we are on Roku. Oh, there's, he's saying no, Reverie TV is uh, on Re Roku. Oh, we can get it. We have Roku because mm -hmm. our channel's on Roku also. It's on the yeah, Jimmy Star Ron Roku. Russell show is on Roku. That's cool. Did okay, you know so, that, my dear? You could see yourself. Yeah, you'll on be Roku. on Roku soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all you do is go to Roku, go to the Jimmy Star starring Ron Russell show. Now, the Jimmy Star show with Ron Russell. No, the, the Jimmy Star show starring Ron Russell, the greatest uh -huh. entertainer in the world. By the way, Jimmy everybody St says your hair looks fine and you don't need to keep going. <laughs> no, I, 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 did that, I did that as a joke to send to Ricky to see if he was going to do something funny and wild. <laughs> But, I mean, do you think I would really do this on the show? But I want my fucking pompadour to look like yours. You need some strong hairspray. <laughs> no, I'll just make. But you know, it looks later. so healthy. Don't put any hairspray on it. Don't do it. So, are no, you still doing that? Now my pompadour. Are higher. you still doing? Are you still doing some of the Us Weekly stuff? I used to read you in Us Weekly all the time, but I, I would only do it when I don't buy Us Weekly because I'm cheap. But I, I would just I always go if I see it in the grocery store. I like to open it up just to see if you're there. Yeah, yeah, I'm still doing that. I'm a fashion contributor for Us Weekly, and I have to create jokes like every other week. There you go. That's so much fun. So everybody read Us Weekly and the back part where they're like critiquing like how ridiculous celebrities look. And then you see the celebrities making funny comments. And Ricky's one of the people who does the commentating on that. And uh, it's so much right. fun to see. I love to see you doing that. I loved it. Every time I see it, I'm like, oh, my gosh, that's so cool. I know him. <laughs> and Jimmy is really cheap. He's not kidding. For my birthday, we, got, we went to – no, listen. For my birthday, he took two me to Florida. Ago. He threw me in the back of the van with a liverwurst sandwich and drove a million miles an hour. That was my birthday gift, eating a oh. liverwurst sandwich in the back of a van with the dog <laughs> while he's driving a million miles an hour to go to that Florida. That was two years ago. <clears throat> two years ago. So tell me That's about That's cute. <laughs> the liverwurst sandwich was good. Jimmy, he's such a romantic. I am very romantic. Time. You better, you better. I'm only that. teasing. He's I did do that on his birthday, by the way, because we had to go to Florida and we had to get there, and it was happened to fall on his birthday. And I laid so I in the back that. of the truck, bouncing, eating the sandwich, and I said to myself, "I'm supposed to marry this guy." We were already married. We were already married. Yeah. I was saying to myself, "When can I divorce this guy?" <laughs> <laughs> I love him to pieces, and he's not cheap. He's so good-natured to me. It's amazing. Jimmy just does not like expensive restaurants. He will not go and drop two, three hundred bucks in a restaurant on a meal. He says he could buy these uh, superhero dolls and put them in his museum here. <laughs> and, I just know. don't like to spend a lot of money on food. I just can't help it. Like yeah. If I, if I was going out someplace with you, I would rather go to Panera and, and get something to eat and then go to some store and buy some amazing $300 outfit that you're going to keep forever than like go to the bathroom oh, the next yeah. day and you'd lose it all. So. Oh, no, no, no. I, I cook all my food in my house, and I just – I cook well, too. Well, first of all, you but don't wait, eat. Wait, wait. You're, like... mar you're married to a doctor. Now, may I be presumptuous and think he's Jewish? He is not. He's German. That's a change. Uh, you, you know what they say about the German men? Oh, you're a lucky girl. I am. Wow. <laughs> I, I, I dated a, I dated a German a, Scorpio. Oh, double luck. I dated a <laughs> German guy years ago when I was a kid. Jackhammer. <clears throat> what can I tell you? <laughs> you know, talk about the Nazi helmets. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, let's get it clean again, kids, if we can. But um, so, what else are you going to give us to know? Oh, you, a got, lot of, you have other shows. A lot of yourself? stuff you're giving us, and I hope people are writing this down or going to watch the show again They're on watch Roku, it again. so you could get all the dates and times and stuff. Right now, right. So, now where are you living in LA still, or no, where are you? Where are Hollywood? You? I'm living still in, in uh, downtown Burbank area. Okay. Burbank. Near like Glendale, down. Yeah, I know Harvard. the area. It's a very, very cool area. I used to hang out down there. Hang on, because we only have three minutes left. Do you three have minutes? others? Yeah, we have three minutes. Well, I don't want to make sure we get in anything that we would need. We're gonna play on the video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna download your boys and girls video and then attach it to the interview so everybody will hey. see it. <laughs> and so I'm gonna make it this way. The next time we see you, I'm swearing to God, if you and your husband don't come to our house for dinner, you know I'm Italian from Brooklyn. Hang on, we got three minutes Wait, though. Okay. Need I go any further? <laughs> I'm Italian from Brooklyn. From wow. a mafia background. Okay, anyway, go if back. If you don't come to our house for dinner. Do we have any other? Okay, do you okay, get okay, it? okay, okay, he's coming. No, she's not, she's not coming. relaxed. She's not, I'm coming. He's coming. He's not saying anything. You know, he's he, just looking at He says out. he's coming. No, he and says he's coming. And then we're going to go to the Diva. We're going to go watch the Gypsy. That's right. We'll go watch Gypsy. I'll invite Gypsy to the house when you come. There we oh, go. She lives, 
She lives in Palm Springs, the old bitch. I'll invite her. So we have a minute and a half. Do you have any other shows besides South by Southwest we should plug? I do. I'm going to be performing at the El Rey at the, uh, it's called um, Beat It. It's a Michael Jackson tribute show. Oh, cool. where, where are you doing it? Are you doing a Michael Jackson song? I might. Where are you doing okay. the show? Where, where, where? At, at the El Rey. El Rey Theater. Where's that? El Rey. It's in um, it's in L.A., Los Angeles. It's a really big theater, Los Angeles. I've, I've, I've been to every one. I've never heard of that one. Oh, the L. Yeah, I know the one you're talking El Rey. about. And then yes. I'm going to put it opposite. Gonna, hang on, hang on. Every, all my information, I'm going to put all my shows on www.rickyrebelrocks.com. My there website. you go. So you guys go to rickyrebelrocks.com to see everything that... And he's got going on for shows. Follow at Ricky Rebel Rocks on Twitter. He's a great tweeter. He tweets all kinds of cool stuff. Um, and it'll be a lot of fun if you're in South by Southwest this week. Uh, on the 18th, he's playing the Dirty Dog Bar Saturday. That's Saturday night, right? Saturday, Saturday night. night. Yeah, 3:18. Uh, on the three on the 14th, if you were my baby, is coming out on iTunes. Download it. Remember, even though he's a superstar, he's an indie superstar, and we need to sell music to make money. So please support the indie arts. It's very very important. Get his his single Boys and Sometimes Girls. He's also got the Blue Album. What other albums do you have? Do you have other ones? I have a, a manipulator. And the manipulator. So get the blue album and the manipulator album, you guys, and let's support Ricky Rebel. And and we're out of time, so I guess we're gonna like see you soon. Why is it always going so quick? <laughs> when you have a boring guest on, I sit here, my ass is killing me because these chairs are uncomfortable. <clears throat> I look up, I, I I look at the clock. I say, when is this torture gonna be over? And then when we have good guests like you and the rest of them, I, I don't want it to end. I wish we were a four-hour show. Anyway, so Ricky, good luck at South by Southwest. Thank you so much. I'll shoot you. Uh, I'll shoot the video to you when we get it all set. I'll include the new, uh, the video for Boys and Sometimes Girls. Thank you so much, and everybody. We'll see you next week. Thank see you next week, everybody. everybody. Thank you, Rick. Thank you, baby. Always Bye, everybody. Everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, Thank you. you okay. wanna wanna be Jimmy Stop, new celebrity. Sometimes girls. And sometimes girls, they can be kind of hot. I like the way they work the pole. They like get some, get some spot. I know it's kind of kinky. I know it's weird. But I'm the kind of gay guy that likes girls to touch my rear. You want to get with me? This is how I roll. I like the boys, 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 boys. And sometimes girls. I can't stop till I get to the top. I know it's wrong and I know I'm a freak. Sometimes girls, if you want to get with me, you gotta give me the world. I like the boys, 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 and sometimes girls. Sometimes girls. 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 You wanna make out girls? Boys, 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 boys. What, you and your boyfriend? That's right. Girls. Girls. Okay, I'm down. Boys, 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 boys,
sometimes girls. <laughs> <laughs>